In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, look upon us and hear our prayers during this holy season. We come before your presence and ask your Holy Spirit to make us strong in faith and active in good works. Help us bear witness by following your example of suffering and make us worthy to share your light to others. Fill our hearts with your love and give us the grace to rise above our human weaknesses that we may radiate your face always. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Are you prepared for what we are to go through? We started on Ash Wednesday. We journeyed 40 days coming to these holy days. In Tagalog, mahal na araw. This is what we have been preparing for. The triduum. Triduum. It means three days. These are the most holy days in our lives as Catholics, as Christians. We prepared for this day. We fasted. We strive to deepen our prayer. We strive to recognize Jesus and our brothers and sisters by giving them our hand, by extending to them our riches because we recognize the face of Jesus in them. So that when we go to this three meaningful days, the mystery of our faith, we can have a meaningful journey and encounter with Jesus. Tomorrow, Thursday, it will be the start of the Easter Triduum. Three days that ends on the evening of Sunday, of Easter Sunday. It starts tomorrow on the Last Supper, where Jesus knew of his betrayers. Jesus knew of the weaknesses of the men who were closest to him. But Jesus still chose to wash their feet, still chose to be their master who becomes their servant. And on Friday, we remember that the God who became, became man is the same God who offered himself on the cross in place of our sins because of our sins for the sake of loving us for the sake of saving us and on sunday we celebrate the victory of our faith the resurrection of jesus that also meant our resurrection from being dead because of sin to being alive because of God's grace. As we always say at Mass, when the priest says, let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Christ has died, Christ has risen, and Christ will come again. These three meaningful days is the epitome of our faith, is the highlight of our faith, because these days are the days that Jesus offered himself for our sake. And by the power and grace of God, he rose from the dead, defeating death and sin. And he takes us with him in his resurrection. This is the beautiful mystery of our faith. The next three days, may it be that you and I we will truly be closest to Jesus as He takes us in this journey of His love for us, of His beautiful and great plan for our lives. And that is to lead us to be with Him in heaven. We prepared for these days regardless of how you prepared, 
I hope you open your heart for the coming days to these beautiful mysteries of how God loves us. Christ humbled himself because he loves us. Now, it is our time to humble ourselves so that he can love us more. He can show us more his plan. We look forward to Sunday where we will celebrate the resurrection of Jesus because it is also the day of our resurrection, the day that all of us can claim the lives that are better, the lives that are holier. Have a meaningful triduum. It's called Easter Triduum because at the end of the day, at the end of these three days, Easter is the highlight. Christ is risen and He rose for you and me to bring us with Him in heaven. God bless you. God loves you. He died for you, but He rose again for you and me. Amen.